Look at that, I didn't even break the yolk. I am quite good. Scott Marr cooking eggs and living life, something his family and doctors at Methodist Hospital didn't think was possible just weeks ago. He wasn't responding to anything, um, any commands. And reflexes, nothing. December 12th, Mar was found in his home unresponsive, rushed to the hospital with a life-threatening stroke. Yeah. And we were worried that, in his case, this was not a reversible process and that it was going to proceed to brain death. With Mar hooked up to a ventilator and minimal brain activity, his children facing a harsh reality. We all said our goodbyes before he was excavated because we weren't sure what to expect. But he kept breathing on his own. He had always said, I never want you to see me lying in a hospital bed, lying in a nursing home. Um, and so we all went home that night. The next day. That next morning, we actually had appointments at cremation places. But his kids went to check on their dad one more time. I went in just to talk to him like we had been this whole time. And I said, hi, dad. And he, like, <coughs> smiled at me. <laughs> and, um. I literally thought I was like dreaming. It was the craziest <laughs> moment ever. Turns out, Mar suffered a rare condition called Press Syndrome, commonly caused by high blood pressure. It presents and it looks like a, a massive brainstem stroke. I don't want to make this a hugely religious thing, but I'll tell you what, it was pretty much of a miracle. And now at Methodist, Mar is known as the Miracle Man, but he says it couldn't have happened without his kids. You guys saved my life. You did. You saved my life. And no one can ask for more than that from their children. The former Creighton play-by-play -play man summed it up like this. Yep. All right, there and that's what this experience, <laughs> this experience has been nothing but nylon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In Omaha, Naya Gonzalez, KETV News Watch 7.